From the guy who made the first few episodes of The Walking Dead comes a film so quietly hopeful, deliberately paced, and unassuming, it totally bombed in theaters because everyone went to see Speed instead. What even is a Shawshank Redemption? Sounds like a southern wrestler's finishing move. And look at this! Oh my look god! Look at him! Look at him! Oh, on! The Shawshank Redemption. Check out number one on IMDb's top 250 films list, because the users on that site have barely seen 250 films between them. That's nevertheless a masterpiece that gave dudes everywhere permission to cry their eyes out and lets every tough guy pretend they'd do time with the quiet dignity of Andy Dufresne, when in reality, they'd be the first fish to crack, then narc on red for a pack of cigs. Officer, that kindly old man tried to give me a rock hammer. I think he's gang affiliated. You gotta get me out of here. <laughs> Travel back to a time when the prison system locked up innocent men for life, subjected them to physical and sexual abuse, and was more interested in profit than rehabilitation. I need this new highway contract. Wait, how is that different from now? Oh, why? Uh, I mean, right. And meet Andy Dufresne, the biggest dork in Shawshank history. And we mean big, as Tim Robbins hides his NBA level height to make his ass look kickable. He'll spend his life sentence carving chess sets, listening to opera, doing taxes, and correcting people's grammar. Don't read so good. You don't read so well that all help to cover for his escape plan, because no sane guard wants to do a deep search of the prison mathlete spanked in. Ew. Return to a time when Morgan Freeman was old enough to play a grandfather, but young enough to date a granddaughter. In his brilliant performance as Red, an honest crook who loves two things, his best friend Andy, and narrating his thoughts to no one in particular. I have to remind myself that some birds aren't meant to be caged. Their feathers are just too bright. Wait, is he is he talking to me? Oh, uh, cool, Red. Let his soothing baritone turn a terrible story full of rape and murder into a poignant story full of rape and murder. Prison is no fairy tale world. He never said who did it, but we all knew. That ends up feeling like a Greek tragedy told entirely through ASMR videos. I hope I can make it across the border. I hope to see my friend and shake his hand. I hope the Pacific is as blue as it has been in my dreams. I hope. Oh, you know if you start scraping a hairbrush, I'm just gonna pass right out. So dive back into the septic tank for this classic saga of one film's quest to win an Oscar, only to lose out to Forrest Gump that was criminally underrated when it came out because Oscar-worthy dramas are like a box of chocolates. They sound good, but you've had your fill after two or three. In this genuinely great film about never giving up on your shitty pipe dream. This is a shitty pipe dreams. Because sometimes shitty pipe dreams do come true. <laughs> Starring Hashtag Dufresne the Police Morgan Not Freeman Norton Futilities Hillbilly Felony Put your hand on that wall. Ah! Arthur Conzarelli, Brooks and Dunn. And after the COVID restrictions get lifted. <laughs> prison break. So, uh, are we sure Andy didn't kill his wife? We know he was drunk outside her house with a loaded gun, eight bullets, documented anger problems, zero alibi, and he never shows any real sadness about her death. Are you the ultimate DC movie fan? Come prove it while winning real money on the Fandom 5 Trivia Show. From Superman to Wonder Woman 1984, sign up to test your knowledge of live-action DC history. Achievement unlocked. Survive 2020. That's when things got knocked into 12th gear. You know, I have one simple request, and that is to have sharks with frickin' laser beams attached to their heads. These boots are made for walking. Christopher Walking.